there and his brother is going to shut the door on him. <laughs> they took all the shelves out. <laughs> he was silly. And here he is with my dad and myself. Here he is um, getting ready for prom night. All diffy and spiffied up. And then here he is. Here he is younger. This was one of the last pictures of him. Here he is. Here's another late one. Here's his dog he had. This is in his apartment. Wooden floors, walls, and windows. Tables and chairs worn by all of the dust. This is a place where I don't feel. This is a place where I feel at home. I was planning on having chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream. That was his fate. He's going to be 21, you know. I was so excited. And um, then um, no answer. No answer on his next down, no answer on his home phone. I had to call him. Still no answer. So I started getting worried. I'm like, he always answered his phone. Josh always answered his phone. And then the next thing I know, I have the sheriff's department walking in my house. And they came in my back door. And, I'm like, oh. and it wasn't just one of them, it was like three of them. And that's when they told me that my son was found deceased. And they said that he was murdered. And I was like, how my anger, anger took him. And they said that um, they brought their stuff in. So it was premeditated. He let them in. So he knew them, he trusted them, and he had movement. It's just been me, you know, me, myself, and I trying to find out who my son's murderers were. The homicide of Joshua Crawford. On July 2nd, 2003, Mr. Crawford was found murdered at his apartment at 6949 Exeter Court in Kingsbrook. It appears to be a victim-specific crime. If you think you witnessed suspicious activity or have any information that could help bring those involved to justice, please contact.